The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin. Welcome, folks. Uh, Tommy O'Brien, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the uh, Dow Industrials down 19. NASDAQ's off 2. S&P's are down 2. Gold is trading up uh, 520 at 1229. We have silver up 16 cents, $16.42. Platinum's flat, 918 an ounce. We got uh, light sweet crude flat, $47.78. Notes and bonds, bottom line, higher price, lower yield. Yeah. Uh, notes up 16 ticks, 125.14. Bonds up 23 ticks, 151.11. And King Dollar, King Dollar just can't handle it. King Dollar's down 375 ticks, 99.130. The Euro is at 109 to the US dollar. The Yen is at 113 to the US dollar. And folks, if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, great time to do it. Come over to our website at TFNN. You can bring up the platform, follow along with us as we trade these defined option contracts. Maybe we'll get some volatility. I don't think so. We almost had volatility Wednesday, and then the market was like, no, 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 no. We're going back to like 50 points. Yesterday, within. I mean. Was yeah. it yesterday? Yeah. Was it down 150? Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Wednesday. No. Was it yesterday? Yeah. Man, time is crazy. It, it, it is. Because the Dow was down 150 yesterday at I, one point? Yeah. Okay, that I'm was an after show in the morning. Okay, man. And it came all the way back. It, Busy it tested, hours, it, I guess. It tested that <laughs> low and then said, see, you don't want to be him. True. You know, so we get... We now, do, now it clicked. There we yeah. Go. <laughs> we, do, we do have some high volume lows there, so... We'll see where that shakes out. Pretty remarkable. Um, so what are you looking at? Gold, right? Yeah. What and do we uh, got going on So here? this isn't, a, you know, well, I, I you know. It, you better like it. it you're in it. I, 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 <laughs> there's no doubt. And, you know, what, what does happen here is that the, the risk versus the reward. Now, this is where I like sure. that it's a Friday. Sure. Um, I bought, uh, I paid, I paid. Now, when you're trading it's gold, folks, and you're trading it, well, of course, if you're trading at the, at the middle of the spread, you, you never have the pain two or three ticks because that, that's normal. Yeah, right? it's probably just right. The bid offer is going to be right around where it is, right? right you're really right, just paying the right. spread, not really premium in that it, case. It, it, exactly. Yeah. Now, what has happened uh, is that even if you get closer to the bottom of the box, though, the premium hasn't been that bad. Now, in this case, I bought, it was out of the money. Sure. I can. So you're looking yeah. at... Gold right now, we're looking at the June contract. We're yep. trading 1229.50, call right. it. And the box is from 1230 30. to 1270. Right. So right now it's 50 cents below. And let's see, so you got in at 835. Yep. I'll show you what I did. I waited for the announcement. So there's 830. So you literally got in as that bar kind of closed and this bar opened. Uh, what I actually did. Uh, did you I trade put, multiple times? I get, No, no, I got to put a 10 minute in because what happened is that. Whoop, but that's okay. Well, to find out where you got it's, in? It's this bar here. But it's the very beginning of... Nope, it's not. That's well, I'm going to show you why it is. Okay, uh, no, so, come on. I can show you why it's not. It says your exact time that you entered that position at oh, 8, 8.35. Okay, then let me show you what... I, I, I want to explain what I did Sure. Here. Okay. So, when I bring this up, what I did is that I, I let the announcement come out. Sure. The announcement came out right at 8.30. Yes. And so what happened, folks, is this, is that this took out the B point of a potential ABC up. Okay. And when it took it out, I said, oh, this is going to get kind of interesting because the A point on this is 12.16. Sure, it's been you know, quite a run from yesterday's yeah, lows, right? Your, your yeah. B is 12.29. So it's okay. And there's 13 points, right? Your C point would be the low there, you know. Now, how do you just intuitively, that A to B is, like, enormous, and then you have, like, a 10-bar B to C? Does that make... Well, no, this is what I did, too. I, I did it both ways, okay? So, first I said, I said, okay, maybe this is the A to B, because you don't know. That's, okay. Okay, so I took the, the beginning of today first. 12.24, going up to 12.29, I says, okay, that's 5 bucks. Sure. Then I take 5 bucks, and I says, okay, that's... 1232.50. Sure. sure. Then I says, okay, well, what happens here? Let me pull this back a little bit more. What happens if, if in fact, your B point is right here? 
Yeah, a point rather, because sure. you really it's not a, you know it's not yeah. scientific. Really, yeah, right. You know no, I mean? no. So then I took it that way. I says, okay, hold on. That way it's twelve forty. Okay. Then I went like this, and then I put it on the daily. I says, okay, well, what's that right there? Well, that's twelve thirty six, and that's kind of ice. That's sure. the bottom. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So that's how I did it. And then what ended up happening, which is so cool. So if we go back to the the, the platform again. Yes. What happened is that this is showing. Is that 835 right there? Yes. Okay. So what happened, folks, is that it got over it. See, see the reason I said it wasn't this is it wasn't over this, which is blowing my mind. I don't, I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't either. <laughs> you know, because, because we, just brought, we just brought up the other one, and you can see the difference. Uh, sure. Jump back. So that's 6 in the morning. We're looking yeah. at the June contract. That seems like it traded to a high of 1229.85. Let's right. see what it says on, even as we just minimize this. Uh, so just, yeah, I'll put go it. ahead. Yeah, see, I don't have it at all. Let's see. We're looking at about six. Come on, pop up. I mean, that's that's pretty close, actually. This okay, is, okay. It's, so it's the same twelve twenty nine ninety. I, 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 I guess what with, with the, with the point is. Um, I mean, you got a huge thrust. So maybe you you know maybe in your head you you. No, no, it you, wasn't you, it? It's. <laughs> What I did is that it got over it, it had the volume, and then it came back underneath, and that's when I bought it. Okay. And what ended up happening is that the, but I paid, at that point, it was trading uh, slightly underneath. 29.50, sure. and I paid two points. Right. Yeah. Stay right there. Tommy and I are coming right back, folks. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now uh, is down 30. NASDAQ is off. Uh, no, NASDAQ just went up. Uh, S&Ps are down 350. Uh, you know, bonds are the, the movers out here. King Dollar is the mover downtown. So if we go back to uh, this trade out here. So what I need to ha see happen, I get to be, I believe I'm at 32.50. All right, 32. So by 130, I need to be... To, to break even, um, it, what's intriguing about this one here is that I only put up, I think, 100 bucks for five contracts, so 20 bucks a piece. Yeah. Um, and in this case, that's $50 a point, so I, you know, I only need, well, I need uh, 1234 to break to even. To double your money. Well, no, because at, I mean, at 1232, you right? break even. Yeah. You just said I need 1234 to break even. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no. Yeah, to make money. Right. To double your money. Right, right, right. Which, that's why I like the trade. Sure, P sure. Particularly on a Friday. Sure. You know, because so we'll see what happens. Uh, what I would like to see... is that right now, if we bring this back for a second... So thus far... You know, you can see when it hit that 1231.60, the volume died. It's building some cars right now. So we'll see where that baby shakes out. If we go over to the uh, GDX, we take a look at the GDX. Um, you know, this had a nice little pop this morning. Now the real question is, are we going to get any volume behind that move? Because uh, this is coming right into the downdraft. It ate into that downdraft yesterday. Nice, though. We did 66 million shares. Still going into a buck 30. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to need more. But... Uh, We'll see what type of cars we get uh, built in there. The, uh, some of the, well, let's go, let's, uh, JW, I think it's JWN. Back it up. Is it JW, yeah, JWN. Nostrums. So, Nostrums, you know, that came down yesterday with, uh, yeah. Macy's. Right. Goes lower today. This is building cars that basically break its ABC structure on the way down. These stores, man, it's like... Yeah, Macy's just can't handle it also. Yeah, some serious loss in earnings there, right? For sure. They're oh. Disappointing across the board. And it's such a beautiful store, and yeah. so is the Nordstrom. Oh, I mean, it's, it's, but guess what? You don't what? need beautiful stores to make money anymore. You don't. No. You don't. It's not, it's, that's, you know, it's, that's just not how it goes. It kind of speaks to how, remember when Amazon was talking about repackaging everything? Yes. Where it's kind of that same deal, where you don't need to have a dolled up retail store anymore to dominate that industry. Right. Yeah. I know. Yeah. And way to, re way to actually, if they pull that deal off. Meaning, that deal? I don't, with repackaging. Sure, it, yes, it, yes. That's, you know, yeah. they start repackaging all these Procter & Gamble goods. Right. It's like toast. Yeah. Let's go to our man, our man Mike in Somerville. Hey, Mike, what's going on? All right, here comes Swifty coming around the back. Here stretch. comes Swifty. <laughs> Friday's the home stretch, man. It's, we're, we're down. Right now, folks, we're in Revere and Wonderland. That's <laughs> totally. That's, that's the racetrack. That's the dog racetrack in Boston. <laughs> uh, it was. It's, it's not there anymore, I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that was good, Tom. I was, was going to say, I say, you know, I should probably say secretary. And only Tom O'Brien will get what that one means. <laughs> oh, man, let me tell you. I used, to, I used to remember. I, yeah, folks, I used to hook school to get on Suffolk Downs and jump the fence when, then when I was in high school. <laughs> That was the hot good races. lesson for everybody. Yeah, it is. <laughs> hey, hey, it works. The bottom line, I'm, I'm here. <laughs> hey. All so right. what are we talking this about, Mike? <laughs> I was looking good for a little bit there, Tom and Tommy, but it's, 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 it's not looking good for Silver. But, uh, it was a tough beginning back. of the week to claw back from, really. Yeah, uh, I know. 
What, what, um... The 1650, Tom. I, it's been a long road, but it's been uh, fun. Oh, it's that's fun. in the realm more than I thought you were going to wow. say. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's going to, that's going to. Okay, so, yeah, we got the 1647. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty wild, man. Well, you know what? It, it's it's a Friday, man. You know, even when yeah. I did this trade this morning, Mike, in gold, what ends up happening is that they can, you know, they can take it any way they want all the time, meaning the market is going to be the buyer to sell it. Uh, what, what happens on Fridays, though, there'll be, you know, most times there's, there's a lunge one way or the other. It just depends on how everyone's feeling over the weekend. Is there going to be volatility? Is there not? But most of the time on Fridays, you get movement at right at, at 1.30, you know. Does silver close at 1.32? They probably does. Yes, right? Okay, so. yeah. Hey, to, to, in my own in my own defense, I do have uh, two contracts for the uh, small cap short at thirteen eighty four, so I'm doing good there. It looks those are looking good. Oh, good. Yeah, they and they they come down hard. Yes, they R T A M R T A M seven. So actually, actually, even if silver doesn't make it, I'll actually break even if the small caps uh, nice. you know, come through for me. You know what I mean? Yeah, and then those small, that's interesting. So, so, so the small caps folks, you know, they they gave it up yesterday, but they came, they came right back down pretty quickly this morning. This is pretty cool, actually. Because Tommy, can I just say one thing? I'm not like this great trader, but whenever the small caps surged, I played them on Natix, and I've actually hit my last three trades. This is my fourth one in a row that the small caps have come through. I'm not saying they're going to come through, obviously. No, 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 no. I'm with you. I'm with you. That's in. Yeah, when those small caps move too, man. I mean, and if we, if you equity traders, if we go over the IWM, what you're going to see, you know, this this small cap yesterday, man, that was a big expansion of volume. We did uh, 28 million shares. The prior day is trying to go up on 19 million. You know, that's a, that's a good setup. It's going into 31 million. And then if we put this on a weekly, if you get a close, 137.67. Yeah, if you get a close, 137.67, it's into the lower range. And we're at 137.51 right now. All and, right, listen. Yeah, I put that on when I put my silvers on. Those were both weeklies. I did them right on Monday, and uh, here we are Friday. It is amazing how fast this week went by, isn't it, guys? I'm oh, it blows my mind, man. It really does. Wow. It, it's, yeah, it's, it's definitely a wow. Now, Mike, keep your yeah. eye on those because um, right now they're trading at, what, 21 by about 28? If, you, if you're around your computer later in the day, you know, that's one of those situations where as time goes forward, you know, right now you got five hours, 49 minutes. We're looking at the Russell 2000, 1384 binary on the weekly. Right now it's trading like 18 by 25. So, you know, just similar to that trade we talked about, whether it's, I think, golds, you know, at some point that's going to creep down to maybe be a market of like five by 10, you know, four by nine. Um, and if there's some volatility, the volatility at the end of the day, you can always take that take that trade off for 90 or 95 cents on the dollar as that comes down. Uh -huh. Totally, just to you're, consider. No, you're right. You're right, Trump. Thanks for thanks for pointing that out. And actually, I I probably could have closed my silver trade out an hour ago, and it would have been a minimal loss. But you know, I let that run. Yeah, no, that's that okay. Much. You know, you're yeah. in it for some action. <laughs> All right. Hey, thanks, guys. Talk have a great right. weekend. Have a safe weekend. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow right now is down 39. Nasdaq's off 5. S&P's are down 5.5. We're going to be right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how Everbank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? Everbank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? Everbank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. 
Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is down 40, Nasdaq's up 7, S&Ps are up 5.5. And, and as you come over to our website at TFNN, folks, uh, you're going to see right on the top of the carousel tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock, I'm going to be doing a workshop, um, webinar, our webinar. Uh, and if you'd like to test drive uh, Market Insights, you can do that. One month, money back guarantee. You get my book, The Out of Time in the Trade. And, well, I'm going to be... I did the workshop last Sunday night. That was all about uh, the vote in Paris. Uh, bottom line is France, uh, not just Paris. No. Yeah, France. No, France. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. I know. Uh, no, France. France has yeah. more than Paris. But That's I know you slightly. Know that. I know you yeah, know. slightly. <laughs> um, so uh, tomorrow morning, folks, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, basically go over the, the, the week, what we have here, and go over where I think the, uh, we're going to be in the next uh, few months. So if you'd like to come to that workshop, 9 to 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Are you going to talk about who's going to be the next director of the FBI in there, too? Yeah, okay, totally. Okay, good. I thought so. Okay. Just making sure. Totally. We got it all in there. That'd be, that'd be, <laughs> that's going to be a wild job, that's, man. That's oh, gonna, man. That's going to be a wild job. There's oh, no, man. There's, there's no doubt about that. Is, that. that is, I think everyone can agree with that one. And that's, good, good that's, luck to whoever ends up in there, right? Well, exactly. this, is, this is where... Can I say that seriously and, you know, slightly... Oh, Satiri you know, it's, sarcastically it's, because it's, it's you know, no, it's good serious, luck as in we need somebody to business. succeed who's the head of the FBI, and good luck because unfortunately, it just got pretty politicized. I think. Yeah. Either oh, way, the, no the, matter the, what you think the, of things, it's, the, the, it's quite a tough role to jump in there and not be seen as it being somewhat politicized. We'll see what happens, but yeah, whoever uh, it is is not going to last long. That's that's the way that <laughs> I look at that job at right now. Uh, what's going to get pretty cool is coming into this close because that's where the, uh, I think some decisions will be made coming to close in the metals market too, uh, you know, and we'll we'll see you know where the dollar yeah, goes. Yeah. You know, uh, the way bonds are trading right now, uh, it's actually pretty phenomenal because here, you know, when when you actually when we still look at the the Fed fund rate, yes, it's at ninety seven point five. It was sure. at a hundred yesterday. Yes, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but that's still, you know, like, hey, they're going up. Right, you right. Know, they're going up on short term rate. Sure. Um, Just so before you jump across, what yeah. I love doing. So when it's once you're once you're you have like one rate hike baked in, yes. right, which yeah. is that is. So what yeah. what are the odds that there's two? Because that's the real question. Right. right? That's right. 
and so this is the column for two. Right. So as you get out to September, that's where the realm of two rate hikes, and that's that's fast, man. That's fast. That Getting would two be rate fast. hikes by September. Oh, that would be that's fast. That's more than you know, 33 percent chance. Yeah. Um, so realistically. Somewhere in this mix, they have two. We'll see what happens. And we know how fast that can move. Right. That yes, changes. For sure. You know, it changes sure. pretty quick. Now, that being said, watch this. When we go and say, okay, what are the rates right now? Well, the rate right now is 2.3. You know? And yes. Bottom line, that's, that's a great rate. You know, 2.3. Um, you know, you, you take a look at how this is trading out here today. This is strong, man. This is like you got over the consolidation again, which is 125 half a point over it for the 10. It's like, okay, you know, it doesn't want to stay down there. It, you know, it has 823,000 contracts already, so it means it's going to do like maybe 1.8, maybe 2 million contracts today. That's a yep. big number, man. You know, that, when it does that, it likes to do it here. Let me show you something, folks. So, in this pullback here, you know, that it had it going on price, but you can see you did 1 million contracts, 1 million, the biggest one, Yesterday it did 1.2 and rejected the lower price. You're going into 2 million, 1.5 million, 1.5 million. And you know, the way this is trading right now is saying, you're going into 1.5, but it's saying it can do 1.5 easy. Sure. If that's the case, guess what? These rates are going down. There's something that's still hanging out here that is saying that, you know, the, the, the rates are gonna stay low. And if, you know, when I start thinking about this, it very well might be that there's not like a destruction in, in the you know forward going months or years but what there very well could be which is a huge disruption is these big beautiful a retailers having a tough time going bankrupt bonds going bankrupt and the malls i mean sure. that's it's that's yes. that's yep. a, that's I don't know how much it is of the GDP, but it's a lot. And it doesn't mean that they, you know, that'll get shifted to Amazons of the world sure. and the Walmarts of the world and, you know. Yeah. But that would put some destruction. Well, that would put deflation still still in play. If deflation's in play, folks, bottom line is that, you know, and, well, and this has always been, this has been an argument for a long time. Deflation is in play for the stuff that we wear. Okay. It's not in play for what we eat. Health insurance, schools, sure. right? Of the stuff that we need. Sure. You know, so. Um, you know, and as you take a look at this uh, Nadex platform, folks, don't forget uh, Sunday night, um, what you can get is uh, on Sunday night, of course, the currencies get active at 6 o'clock. Sure. And what has been real active, you know, like uh, I didn't have the Euro this morning, it was a nice little deal yesterday. Uh, that move on the euro this morning is huge. Yeah, that CPI came out right at 8:30. Yeah, and where do you see that euro? Look at that thing. Yeah, that that was a big number, man. And I'm just gonna pull it back a little bit further. So that's going pretty far back, but zooming in a little bit, quite a move. Quite, it's that's yeah. you know, and if you're trading, you know, currencies, uh, this platform is phenomenal. I mean, that's that, the bottom line because what happens. With currencies, of course, if you're trading at the FX market, you can get wiped out in about two seconds. That's that almost is if you're on the wrong side of that, that could have been a very that's a big move. For that's sure. that's a huge move. Um, and then, of course, you can you can put the weeklies on uh, Monday morning, and uh, we'll see where this shakes out. Let me just sure for you know indices, right? You're talking about commodities, yes. yeah. Uh, look at that thing. Definitely. We went from uh, 108.71, or 108, no, 109.21 right now. That's that's a nice move. Um, and the when we started the week out, so the VIX is at 10.57, low like 9.56. Yeah, that yeah. there it is right there, right? Yes. And that was pretty phenomenal looking at the how you could either buy or sell the uh S P five hundred in the Nadex platform and Yeah, and they're still pretty low at ten fifty six. But yes. yeah, I mean that was Tuesday I think was the day we had nine fifty six. Monday it was down to yeah, no, Monday it closed at the lowest level, remember, in like twenty three years. Right. And that was the close of nine seventy seven. And then Tuesday at 
intraday it was lower, it actually didn't close at that same low. But, yeah. Right. Yeah. Still pretty cheap premiums across the board oh, when you factor in what's going on, I there's, think. There's no doubt. And yeah. the thing that, you know, the thing that's amazing, too, is that the the option market, you know, and, and option traders, you know, when you listen to Think or Swim, now they say this on a continual basis. For some reason, option traders can get it right more than they can get it wrong, meaning the market itself. Sure. Because yesterday, you know, we were down, but guess what? We came all the way back again. It's right. like, okay, the market, you know, just went sideways again. Sure. You know, on, on a longer, sure. it, you know, longer basis. The bottom sure. line is it just did. It did. You know? um, inside the Dow Industrials today, the strength for it. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow right now is down 35. NASDAQ's off 5.5. S&P's are down 4.5. Uh, we get gold up 580. Silver's up 14 cents. Come right back. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's n-a-d-e-x.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. If we uh, take a look at the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness, uh, what you're going to see out here uh, inside the uh, Dow is this. Uh, is that you got uh, the weakness? Uh, Goldman Sachs is putting nine negative points. Boeing putting eight. United Health putting six. Merck putting five. Uh, the positive uh, Apple's putting twelve. Positive McDonald's six. Home Depot three. Uh, inside the NDX one hundred, 
We have uh, Wynn Resorts, uh, that's up 3.5%. Uh, Vodafone's up 2.3%. JD.com, 1.8%. Taken away from it, Liberty Financial. Now, well, one of the Liberties. <laughs> There's so much. Liberty uh, is down 3%. No, Norwegian Cruise Lines, 2.2%. And Holog Hologic. Hologic uh, down one7 Seven. Let's go to our man, uh, Jim, in Minneapolis. Hey, Jim, what's going on? Tom, it's a fantastic Friday in Minneapolis. Are we taking it by storm? Taking it by storm. <laughs> I like here. it. What's happening, Jim? I like it. <laughs> yeah, it's the uh, 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 state's opening of fishing is uh, this weekend, so everybody's you know, got the boats. They're all going up north, gassing up, getting ready to go get the walleyes and the northerns. And, yeah. yeah, it's a big day there. You know, it was interesting. Dude. I I heard your senator, uh, the woman senator on uh, the night before last, and uh, yeah. she yeah, and she said to the uh, I forget which station I was listening. To, she says I can't wait to Friday. I think she was coming Friday that I can go back home and we have fishing opener and I'm going to relax for a few days. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. Man. It's a big deal. They have you know big yeah big deal. It's but, like probably uh, the old, is it like the opening of spring and just the, the opening of lots uh, of fish getting cooked up this weekend. Yeah, that's for sure. yeah. I mean, it's beautiful here. You know, seventy-five and sunny. It's going to be eighty. You know, Sweet. tomorrow. That's perfect. It's, yeah, that's awesome. I mean, awesome. there's been some years it's been you know snowing. I mean, you never know. <laughs> yeah. This that, time of year, you bring your you know your your jacket and your shorts. You know, you never know. That's awesome, man. But uh, Tom, looking at uh, the China FXI. Okay. Let's take a look at this. If you, uh, yeah, I used to trade this to a that. lot. I haven't looked at this in a long time. Okay, so yeah. let's take a look. So this is the iShare FXI, folks. Uh, okay, so let me see. I, I, this, so this tracks the China 50 index. Okay, so the low out here for the year is 31. The high is 39. Okay, so. Not much action here. Um, now, do you uh, you own it, Jim? Are you looking to buy it? Yeah, you know, I, I bought a, uh, a okay. third of a position in here, um, a little bit cheaper than this. But yeah. you know, there's some some chatter about some uh, allocation models are going to add add China uh, globally to the uh, SCI index. Okay, let me just look at this for a second. So, I see. Okay, so. You get the construction, China construction, China mobile, industrial bank. I said it was everything. It's like tech. I know. I, I'm trying to figure out what this mimics, and I used to remember, but yeah, it's, it's kind of the big, the big, you know, the large, large caps. caps. Okay. China. So. We, made, we just needed a deal with China for trade last night too, right? Yeah. Right. Right. So let me just see this for a second. So if I go to Shanghai, just curious. Financials, 2.1 percent. Not sure. Yeah, it's only tracking the China 50, so it's really like yeah. that Dow 30. Right, right. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, there's probably not, you know, a, a lot screaming at you to, to buy this thing. I was just wondering what. Yeah. Well, yeah, you go into the. I mean, it looks like it wants to test 39.85. That's the low of the high. Like March yeah. 21st. Yeah, I mean that that's that's a decent setup. What I don't. Well, yeah, today just started, so this just has taken, it just started, it's 5 billion, shit. yeah, actually, it looks like, so there's 5.5 .5 million, the swing point's 12.8, so it looks like it's going to take that swing point out from the 26th, so, okay. you know, 39.07's probably game, and if you, if you get, if it goes into that with some juice, then you're going to get the top of that, which is 39.85. Yeah, I mean, I know China, you know, that's the, one of the one of the crazy markets that can, you know, double or triple in a year, so. Oh, well, particularly because the thing has got killed, too. I yeah, mean, exactly. So, you know, this, kind of... if we take a look at this. That's... <laughs> that's Some pretty... volatile times. That's volatile, man. <laughs> I, it, it, yeah, that's pretty intense. That's what I was surprised when on a 52-week basis, it was only from 31 to 38, because right. in my head, when we went to pull it up, I was thinking maybe some more more of a range, but it's it's kind of calmed down a little bit. Yeah, now, that's the Xinjiang. Yeah. Okay, so... Shenzhen. Me, yeah, Xinjiang. Let me pull up Shanghai. 
Yeah, I guess there's a discrepancy between the value of the A share, you know, the there China is, versus there the There is. Yeah. And that, like that, a, that's where the difference is. That's when you got to go to Hong Kong. Oh, see, that's the same chart. Okay, yeah. that's the same chart. Then you got to go to Hong Kong. And that's the Hang Seng. It's pretty wild how, the, you know, all these different numbers. Uh, well, it makes sense. That's Asia, as in, yeah. you know, the U.S. is just so big. Each state could have their own, yeah. you know, index almost. If So... Yeah, I mean, I guess I'd, I'd have to understand more. And I, you know, I used to know exactly what's in there because there is one of those index. Indices, there's an indice that you can absolutely track on that. That I just don't know yep. what it is right now. Gotcha. Um, yeah, I'm just you know looking for looking uh, looking for for places to go that haven't uh, you know like our markets that are so extended. No, but, totally. Uh, hey, you still trading Hecla? You know, I'm long the Hecla. Yeah, okay. I'm still long a bunch, bought bought more of it, and uh, you know, yeah, I like, I like what it's doing. I like the company, the fundamentals of the company. No, no, as well. I know, yeah. I know. And it, well, heck, yeah, Hecla got the high volume spike there, five eighty one to six seventeen too. So, yeah, you know, uh, and the silver, the silver is the one that hasn't caught the bid. You know, we'll see how this shakes out, but you know, gold certainly has caught the bid, and we'll see. You know. If we know silver is a psycho market, man. I mean, it just, <laughs> just yeah, it's like China, you know. It's it's it is wild. You wake up and, and folks, silver can be up fifty cents in a heartbeat, and uh, down fifty, you know. But lately, it's been down fifty. But when that thing moves, man, that that moves beyond belief. Um, yeah, how's uh, how's the real estate market cooking down in Tampa? It's it's good. It's you know we're we're in a good market. We get a lot of people moving down here. It's still inexpensive relative to the rest of the country, and there's a lot of jobs coming in, you know. So uh, there's a lot of enter entrepreneurs coming in. It, it's really getting interesting, um, you know, and I, the hope would be that, you know, they get some good businesses going. Sure. Um, yeah. You know, but it, ma it makes sense uh, because you do have a... It's it's a lot less expensive to open a business here than it is in in Boston or New York or D.C. or you know Silicon Valley, um, and it seems like they're, they're getting you know we're getting some crowd and the you know I think probably Vinick going to Tampa and Bill Gates going to Tampa that's got to be that's got to be a big deal sure. you know because they're putting billions into Tampa man. Yeah. yeah, awesome. Well, you guys have an outstanding weekend and uh, you too. We'll, we'll, all right. Thanks, guys. Hope Thanks, you guys sir. catch some fish if you go out there, man. We will. All right. Take it by storm. Take it by <laughs> storm, brother. I love that saying. Right. Bye. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Uh, Dow right now uh, is down 37. NASDAQ's off 7. S&P's are down 4.5. We're going to be right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. 
With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest live programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast nine hours a day starting at 8 a.m. as John Logan kicks us off each trading day with the Global Market Pulse. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour. Following the Tom O'Brien Show, Mondays and Fridays, catch live trading on the Nadex platform with hosts Tom and Tommy O'Brien, along with Daryl Martin on the Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. And folks, don't forget, if you'd like to come to my webinar tomorrow morning, just check it out on the front page of TFNN. You can sign up right now. If you can't make it live, of course, it's going to be archived on your page. For all you metal bulls out there, keep your eye on uh, the dollar and the yen because we have them going with us right now. Just in the last 10 minutes, um, you had the dollar break through the bottom. Uh, the number that, that, that breakthrough is 99.090. Uh, the yen... Also, uh, it, it actually, the yen's the one that start moving, which is pretty wild, man. You know, when the yen starts moving at our markets, and that's what it seems to like to do, uh, you know, we'll see whether the yen can get down to 113.14, you know, or 113.28 uh, right now. And, of course, what that, what ha when that happens, that's when gold catches uh, a bid. And, you know, not that it's a, it's a big bid, and it's not yet. Uh, but the bottom line is that you're at the, you know, the high of today is 12.31.60. Uh, if you get more contraction, I mean, uh, you know, uh, downdraft in that dollar and uh, in that yen, you're going to get some action uh, coming into 1 o'clock, you know. So um, over the weekend, you can test drive the, the platform, folks, uh, Sunday night. Uh, bottom line, uh, the currencies will get going Monday morning. You can... Uh, Take a look at it and test drive the uh, the weeklies because the, the weeklies are, you know, and whether it's the spreads or, or the the binaries. Sure, just especially with the S and P, right? The indices just not much pre premium within them for a weekly basis, so that's why they're especially attractive right. if you're looking to play directions or volatility. Um, they're pretty affordable, as in if you got to move one way or another that you wanted, you're not right. paying too much for it. You know, right. I mean, Dave White was out there talking about Snapchat and just talking about how when they disappointed so greatly, some of the premiums and some of the plays to go short that were so substantial that yeah. you weren't even really making money. Um, right. Because the premiums were so built into volatility, to the upside, downside, um, to go short. And so it's, what are you paying for it, right? What are you paying for that premium when you get the move? Because it, exactly. if you're paying 6 $7 to go short. Right. I heard him. He said yeah. they're $6. six, six dollars to, right. to let the, the, and to go $6, short. you still don't make, you still haven't made any money. Yeah, it only went from 23 to 18 over right. $5. Right, right. That's pretty, and that's so what's so cool about short. understanding right. that. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's, that's that premium, you know, that's that volatility priced in. Right. To, to Snapchat, right. for sure. Right. And what I've got to learn over the, the course of, you know, just, more so even the last two or three years. I knew the option players, they, they, that market seems to be consistent that they know where that market's going to go, not that one person does. But sure. it's important to pay attention to that because yeah. that's what it's saying. It's well, saying, hey. The, you they know? don't know. The probabilities get set correctly. Right. You know, where, right. where right. they're making educated guesses, but, you know, they're using the information. And guess what? It's just such a big market as in if it's, if it's priced incorrectly, right, yep. smart money comes into the market, Yep, takes again. advantage of that, right. and then the market swings back to kind of where smart money stops taking that position because it's yep. no longer smart, and then it's closer back to where it should be, right? But yes. if it pushes too way one way, too far one way, then somebody else other. comes in and says, right. "Wait a second, that's an opportunity. Like that. That's yeah. away from where it should be." 
you know, there's probabilities in our favor here in the long run. Let's buy this until we get to that point, and then the market right. gets to that point, and then right. it's accurately priced. So, pretty amazing. Yeah. You stay right there, folks. I'm here. Mr. Basil Chapman's going to come up next. Uh, to growl on a problem with you. Then we're going to swim lessons, uh, Chicago. And then I bet, I suspect that Chicago, they're probably going to be out there fishing too. You know, that whole uh, yeah, yeah, Lake Michigan. The Cubs playing this weekend? I don't know. We oh, better find that out before yeah. you say they're not going to be on Lake Michigan if the Cubbies are playing. Yeah, that's a that's a fact. Man. They'll be down at Wrigley. No, they will be down at Wrigley. <laughs> man. There's no doubt. Uh, then we get Steve Rhodes, uh, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon, folks. Uh, you know, see where this whole uh, baby is taking us. The dollar and that uh, yen, they both look like a lower price. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. We speak, I look forward to speaking in a few hours. Wow! Go get them, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.